brothers and sisters welcome to this new episode of sunday with the word of god let us be in the presence of god and invoking his name we begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen a proclamation from the book of deuteronomy moses spoke to the people saying fear the lord your God, and keep throughout the days of your lives all his statutes and commandments which I enjoin on you, and thus have long life. Hear then, Israel, and be careful to observe them, that you may grow and prosper the more in keeping with the promise of the Lord, the God of your fathers, to give you the land of flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel. The Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you should love the Lord, your God, with all your heart and with all your soul. And with all your strength, take to the heart these words, which I enjoin you today. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be, I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior. You who gave great victories to your King, and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A proclamation from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, the Levitical priests were many because they were prevented by death from remaining in office. But Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he lives forever to make intercessions for them. It was fitting that we should have a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priests, to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then to those of people. He did that once for all of them when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subjects to weakness to be high priests, but the word of the oath, which was taken after the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. 
There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, the gospel of this Sunday brings to light the most important question we need to ask ourselves in our lives. The scribe, the learned man of the scriptures, comes to Jesus and asks a question. Which of all the commandments is the first? We know there are ten commandments, but for the Jewish people there were also 613 different entities attached to those commandments. Jesus responds to this question in a very powerful way through the prayer of Moses that we hear from the first reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is your God. The Lord alone is your God. They are called Shema the prayer of the Jewish people, the prayer that Moses implores them to have forever. And even to this day, the Jewish person says that prayer every morning, every evening, and they are to share this prayer with their children. They are to put that prayer on their forehead, on their hands, and place that prayer on the doorsteps of their homes. Indeed, we too are connected that to prayer. If we ask ourselves, which of all the commandments is the most important? And we hear Jesus saying, hear. We are here to listen. Do we hear the word of God? It's not in our agenda at times that there's somebody speaking to us and the person that's speaking to us is more powerful than we are. He's speaking to us to allow us to know him, to love him, and to serve him. So it's an important question to ask today. Do we listen to God? And again, Jesus says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is your God. The only one. We listen to the words of Jesus. Yet in our world today, how many gods do we have? So many of our people are listening to the gods of this world, not to the God of Jesus Christ, not to the God of salvation, not to the God of eternal life. So we are called today to hear, to listen, and to listen with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our strength. And finally, Jesus says to love your neighbor as yourself. But do we also hear them? Do we know them? Do we believe them? Indeed, in moments of making decisions in life, it's only in our relationship with the Lord, with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our strength, with all the strength of the mind, that we come to ask the Lord to help us. Jesus was asked a difficult question, but he responded. And the scribe also responded saying, yes, Lord, you are right. There is only one God and one God alone. And we are called to love him with all the strength of our heart, with all the strength of our soul, and with all the strength of our minds. So let us, above all, be mindful who we are. We are not just entities in the world. We are God's creation, called to know him, to love him, and to serve him 
in our lives. Amen. The smile of a baby, sweet and true. I can see you in the eyes of my very best friend. I see you in these bones, just like your love that never ends. I see you, Lord, in sorrow and in happiness. I see you in the glory of sweet success. I see you, Lord, every hour, every day. I can see you, Lord, whenever I pray. I see you, Lord, in sorrow and in happiness. I see you. The glory of sweet success. I see you, Lord, every hour, every day. I can see you, Lord, whenever I pray. I can see. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claim lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. 
grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion to holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your families, your dear and near ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, uh -huh.